So now let's continue the video to, to, uh, to make a periodical homogenization. So before we follow hill mandel kinematics, uh, that uh, means we apply a constant strain on the, uh, on the boundaries of this RV. Now we want to include this periodic homogenization, means that now the displacement the displacement is a function of the macroscopic strain plus some perturbation. So we need to apply this to the to the RVE boundaries. So how you do that is uh, first we have the, the the basic input file that we get from this an analysis before. We need to copy this and paste and then rename it uh, with a, a different name. Uh, call it a periodic. Okay and then ux load periodic and then copy again the ux load periodic and paste and then now rename it with the chord dot txt click yes so what you need to do is to open the chord dot txt we need to make sure that only the nodal information are left Make sure there's no blank space, otherwise the code will not work. And then you can click Control F and put star here. So you will find the boundary, the limit of the nodes, the node line, and then remove everything else. So we need to go here and then delete. So now everything just the nodal inf ID and the coordinates okay so go to the reference and then copy the the fortran file and paste the fortran file here so open the fortran file what we need to do is to change the the size accordingly uh, they need to ch to know the, the size of the rve in this case is 20 21.1 21.1 and 21.1 so th this code uh, what happened is basically the code will try to identify uh, from the chord.txt which nodes are in the boundaries of the RVE and it will find the, 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 the pairs of nodes that are opposite to each other because when you want to make the periodic boundary condition you make the relation of displacement between two nodes uh, that are opposite of each other uh, following this equation so to apply this is not very simple uh, to do it manually in Abacus CAE. So we use the the full transcript to read the, the notes and and to create the the equation file that I will show you later. So first, now we need to to compile the PBC 3D to make the executable. Press Shift and then right click, open command window here. And then you need to load the Intel Fortran compiler. You can use any compiler, but the the command will be different. Uh, I fort fars dot bat dot int space Intel sixty four. I fort fars dot bat no space and then space Intel sixty four. So it will load the Intel Fortran, and then you can type I fort only and space. Uh, pbc3d.f this is the the source file and then minus o this is uh, just a compiler options uh, and then uh, pbc3d this is the name of the output after you compile the name of the executable so if you do that if there is no error you will get this pbc3d exe so this is an executable file and now you need to execute the file, the extra file, so that it reads the chord.txt. How to do that? pbc3d.f. Oh no, pbc.exe. If you do that, this is the results. Uh, means that you will it will tells you the information, how many nodes in the top, the bottom, the left, right, up and and rear, uh, in the front and the rear. So. This is the master node, this is the slave node, this is the information that we get to make the periodic boundary conditions. So now what we need to do is to go to the reference and to copy the BC type X file, the master node file. Yes, I think this is the two file that we need to copy and paste here. So now uh, 
what we need to do is to go to the to the node master slave so so here the node set the master node slave one slave two slave three that we need for the periodic boundary conditions uh, because we will apply uh, the master node will function to prevent the rigid body motion uh, the slave node we need three slave node this is to to as a driving node to apply the macroscopic strain in x in y and in z directions so here we change this value to the the node id to four this is to three sorry three five and eight and then you save it okay and then another thing make sure the instance name is correct so i think we need to change this name to know the instant the correct instance name because you you may develop your model with a different instance name so you click here ux load and control f and search for instance instance see here the instance name is union part one so you copy this one you close it and then open the this guy and then paste it here paste Pace, pace, pace. Okay. Now the BC time X. This is the the bound uh, the boundary condition. How much you pull? So <coughs> because here the idea is that we want to to implement the the how you call it the periodic boundary condition uh, the macroscopic strain. So in the previous video, we apply a 100% strain. So to apply the 100% strain, we need to change this to 21.1. And while the rest are zero, in this case, uh, we are using this file because this is to mimic the uniaxial 10 tile test where the strain are not zero in other, this other places due to the Poisson contractions. If we want to make the zero in other direction, because we need to compare with the heel, Hill, Hill, Hill Mandel kinematic. What we can do is just to copy here. So in the second direction, also zero. Then you can also copy this file and then make the third direction also zero. So you, if you're doing this, means that only in the first direction you apply 21.1, while in other direction everything is zero. The macroscopic strain are zero in other direction except the first direction so now we have three files BC type X and then node master slave and then PBC output what we need to do is that we need to include these three files into the main input file UX load periodic what we need to do is to open the UX load periodic uh, okay and this is the boundary condition uh, uh, related to the previous one, Hill Mandel. We need to delete this because we are going to replace with the, the input file that we have. So you need to do this. Just simply a delete. So this is very long because we use the predefined field before. So if you go here, there is a boundary condition. And then you go until the last. Then you remove it. So now you only have this. So what you need to do is type this include include the input file is the BC type x dot txt. So by doing this, you're including the the boundary condition that we have here before that we set to the main input file. So the abacus know where to find this. Make sure there is no blank line. The double star here is a comment, so they will skip this line if you put the, the double star. And then we need to include also the node set. Uh, to include the node set, you need to go to... Uh, I forgot where should I go. So let me see my cheat. Uh, I guess and search for the include so the node set master slaves needs to be put before assembly and assembly so 
go to this one and then click assembly okay this is the assembly so where is an assembly i don't find it assembly. okay so we need to put right here we need to include input and what is the file name the file name is node set master slave dot txt so we include the the node set that we have this is the the id of the driving nodes where we apply the macroscopic strain and then the next thing is that we need to also to include the uh, boundary condition the, the output of the pvc 3d x which is which includes all the equations needs for making periodic boundary condition uh, go again assembly it should be before n instance i think yeah need to type include include input pbc 3d output dot txt just to make sure now let's see include input correct and then let's go to the next one include input note sets must have okay correct and then okay and then another include include yeah this is the first include second include the third include the, the boundary condition okay now we have included the three boundary conditions uh three uh, includes file to the main file the main input file in abacus now we need to run this how to run this is simple uh, open again the new uh command window from this folder and then we can type abacus job this is how you run the abacus uh ux and then ux uh pair and then click tap and then you can put interactive so the the abacus will tell you what is going on in the background if there's any error you can easily de uh, detect the error okay it's gonna be fast because it's just a single fiber model okay now it's completed so now let's close this one let's open the the the, the periodic odb <laughs> yeah so this is the 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 rve deformed shape in the using periodic boundary conditions as you can see here uh the shape are periodic so the displacement on the right side is e compatible with the displacement on the left side right so uh why the shape is like that because uh in in, in this case i didn't put the fiber uh right in the center of the rve so i intentionally make it a little bit towards on the right on the left and uh, and the bottom face so that i will sh I will see the perturbed displacement due to this uh, non-heterogeneity in, in the RV. So that's it.